far from it to we are going to tell you about the biography of James Clark Maxwell James Clark Maxwell born June 13, 1831, Edinburgh, Scotland died November 5, 1879, Cambridge, Cambridgeshire, England Scottish physicist is known for his formulation of electromagnetic theory. He is regarded by most modern physicists as the scientist of the 9th century who had the greatest influence on 20th century physics. And he is ranked with Sir Isaac Newton and Albert Einstein for the fundamental nature of his contributions. In 1931, on the 100th anniversary of Maxwell's birth, Einstein described the change in the conception of reality in physics that result from Maxwell's work as the most profound and the most critical that physics has experienced since the time of Newton. The concept of electromagnetic radiation originated with Maxwell and his field equation based on Michael Faraday's observation of the electric and magnetic lines of force paved the way for Einstein's special theory of relativity which established equivalence of mass and energy. Maxwell's ideas also assert in the other major innovation of 20th century physics, the quantum theory. His description of electromagnetic radiation led to the development according to classical theory of the ultimately unsatisfactory law of the heat radiation, which from makes Planck's formulation of the quantum hypothesis. The theory that radiant heat energy is emitted only in finite amounts or quanta. The interaction, the interactions between electromagnetic radiation and matter integral to Planck hypothesis. In turn, has played a central role in the development of the theory of the structure of atoms and molecules. Early life. Maxwell came from a comfortable middle class background. The original family name was Crow. The additional surname being added by his father who was a lawyer after he had inherited the middleby state from Maxwell and sisters. James was only child. His parents had married late in life, and his mother was 14, 40 years old at his birth. See resources of Maxwell's date of birth. Shortly, Afterward, the family moved from Edinburgh to Glen Lair, the country house on the middle by the state. His mother died in 1839 from abdominal cancer, the very disease to which Maxwell was to circumvent exactly the same age. Although an uninspired tutor, tutor was engaged who claimed that James was slow at learning. So, in fact, he displayed a lively curiosity at an early age and had a phenomenal memory. Fortunately, he was rescued by his aunt, Jane Kay, and from 1841, was sent to school at the Edinburgh Academy. Among the other pupils were his biographer, Lewis Campbell, and his friend, Peter Gatry Get Tate. Maxwell's interest range for beyond the school syllabus, and he did not pay particular attention to examination performance. His first scientific paper, published when he was only 
14 years old. Describe a generalized series of oval curves that could be traced with pins and continued throughout his career and was of great help in his subsequent research. At age 16, he entered the University of Edinburgh, where he read voraciously on all subjects and published two more scientific papers. In 1850, he went to the University of Cambridge, where he exceptional powers began to be recognized. His mathematics teacher, William Hopkins, was a well-known regular maker. A regular is one who takes first class honors in the mathematics examination at Cambridge. Whose student include Tate, the George Gabriel, William Thompson, Arthur Cayley, and Edward John Roth of Maxwell, Hopkins is reported to have said that he was the most extraordinary man he had ever met, that it seemed impossible for him to think wrongly on a physical subject, but that, but that in analysis he was far more deficient. Other contemporary also testified of testified to Maxwell's performance for geometric over analytical methods. This short assessment was later born out of several, several important formula advanced by Maxwell that obtained correct results from faulty mathematical arguments. In 1854, Maxwell was second ranger at first Smith Prize, the Smith Prize in the prestigious competitive war for an essay that incorporated original research. He was elected to a fellowship at Trinity, but because his father's health was deteriorating, he missed the return to Scotland. In 1856, he was appointed to the professorship of natural philosophy at Marshall College, Aberdeen, but before the appointment was announced, his father died. This was a great personal to us, for Maxwell had, had a close relationship with his father. In June 1858, Maxwell married Catherine Nerica, daughter of the principal of Marshall College. The union was childless and was described by his biographer as a married life of unacceptable devotion. In 1860, the University of Aberdeen was formed by merger between King's College and Marshall College, and Maxwell was the Clark Lane He applied for vacancy at the University of Edinburgh, but he was turned down in favor of his full priority. He then, he, he then was appointed to the Professorship of Natural Philosophy at King's College in London. The next few years were arguably the most critical of his career. During this period, his classic paper on the electromagnetic field were published, and his demonstration of how photography took place. He was elected to the Royal Society in 1861. His theoretical and experimental work on the viscosity of gas also was undertaken during this year and culminated in a lecture to the Royal Society in 1866. He supervised the experimental determination of electrical units for the British Association for the Advancement of Science. And this work in measurement and standardization led to the establishment of the National Physical Laboratory. He also measured the ratio of electromagnetic and electricity unit of electricity and compound that is was a satisfactory agreement with the velocity of light as predicted by his parents. Level light. In 1865, Maxwell resigned his professorship at King's College and retired to the family estate in Glasgow. He continued to visit London every, every spring and served as external examiner for the mathematical reports 
in the previous of his treatise on electricity and magnetism, 1973, the best exposition of his of the of his theory, Maxwell states that his major text was to convert Faraday's physical ideas into mathematical form. In attempting to illustrate Faraday's law of induction that the changing ma magnetic field gives rise to an induced electric, electromagnetic field, Maxwell constructed, constructed a mechanical model. He found that the model gives rise to a corresponding displacement product in the electric medium, which all then be the state of transfer waves. On calculating the velocity of these waves, he found that they were very close to the velocity of light. Maxwell concluded that he could carefully avoid the interference that light causes in the transverse undulation of the same medium, which is called the cause of electric and magnetic phenomena. Maxwell's theory suggested that electromagnetic waves could be generated in a laboratory. A possibility first demonstrated by Heinrich Hertz in 1887. Eight years later, after Maxwell's death, the resulting radio history, with its many applications, has its origin in Maxwell's publication. In addition to his electromagnetic theory, Maxwell made major contribution to other areas in physics. While still in his twenties, he demonstrated his mastery of classical physics but by writing a prize winning easy or Saturn's rings, in which he concluded that the rings must consist of masses of matter not mutually coherent. A conclusion that was corroborated more than 100 years later by the worst Voyager space probe to reach Saturn. The Maxwell relation of equality between different particle derivatives of thermodynamics function are included in every standard textbooks on thermodynamics. So, Maxwell did not originate the modern kinetic theory of Jesus. He was the first to apply the method of probabilities and statistics in describing the properties of assembly of molecules. This, thus, he was able to demonstrate that the velocity of molecule in the gas previously assumed to be equal. Must follow, must follow a statistical distribution, now subsequently as the Maxwell's book on distribution law. In later papers, Maxwell investigated the transfer properties of gases. For example, the effect of changing in temperature and pressure on viscosity, thermal conductivity, and diffusion. Maxwell was far from being an abuse to the user. He was skillful in the design of experimental apparatus, as was so early in his career during his investigation of color vision. He deleted a color code with the digital sector of entertainment to test the green color hypothesis of Thomas Young and Dr. Hilton of color books that made it possible to conduct reading to conclude that a color photograph could be produced by photographing some filter of the three primary color and then recombining the image. He demonstrated this supposition in a lecture to the Royal Institution of Great Britain in 1861 by projecting from a color photograph of a tata ribbon that had been taken in this method. In addition to this well-known contribution, a number of ideas that Maxwell, Maxwell put forward quickly as well have since led to development of its significance. The hypothetical origin by Thomas Maxwell's demonious factor in the development of information theory. Maxwell, an analytical treatment of Spain Global now is generally regarded as the founding paper on cybernetics, and this equal areas conduction provided an essential contribution of theory of 
the electric fan provides. This work in the electric car of tech led to the discovery of the rocket's edge land. From the start of this career to finish, this paper appeared by novelty and interest. He also was a contributor in the ninth edition of Encyclopedia Britannica in 1871. Maxwell was elected to the new Cavendish Professorship at Cambridge. He set about setting the Cavendish Laboratory and supervised its foundation. Maxwell had few students, but they were of the latest calibre and included William Dinekan, John Ambrose, Peter C. John Ambrose, Fanny, Richard Dalton, Facebook, and John Henry Pointing, and Arthur Shuster. During the last term of 1879, Maxwell took me on several occasions. He returned to Greenlight in June, but his condition did not improve. He died on November 5 after a short illness. Maxwell suffered of no public honors and was buried quickly in a small churchyard in the village of Parkland in Scotland.